The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians. I'm also the author of the opening call, Daily uh, Comprehensive Newsletter. A um, couple of things going on right now. I, I just wanted to do this because on Friday, towards the end of the show, I got a couple of emails. It was just a little too late for me to do anything uh, to be able to get to them. And then over the weekend, I looked for them. I, I, some, I couldn't find them. And on Monday, during the, my show, I thought I'd just better quite try to find them again. And I can't say, Jane, I know that you had sent me um, a question. I just, I, I'm trying, I know it was three symbols, uh, I mean, three letters. I, I can't remember what you asked me. And I'm trying to find it. Yeah, I've not been able to find it. Maybe I'll, I'll be able to do a scan a little um, during the during one of the breaks. And there was uh, someone else that sent me a question there. It was also towards the end of the show on Friday. I'm I'm sorry, I never got to it. I've been trying to find them. I I'm not sure why I can't find them. So if you could just send me again the question, I'd love to get to it. In the meantime, let's look at this. The Dow is up 266. This is really good action from the gap up on Friday. Then a little inside, very small candle yesterday, inside bar. And today we've broken out to the upside. But finally, you've got the MACD crossing positive. The stochastic's running strongly. It's only at 72%. I'd like it to be in the 80% in or higher area. So all I can say is that at this particular stage, I like the action in the market. I said to subscribers, I love the fact that my Dow Quartet um, this is Caterpillar. Look at that strong leg, uh, leg C today. Uh, IBM. Holding okay. It had a peak D at 147 just recently and went down to the 138. So now it's at 143. Just kind of stuck, not doing much. Triple M. Very, very strong leg A to the upside and um, nice action. The weekly chart <laughs> needs a lot of improvement, but the daily is acting well. And UTX, which I said to subscribers, I, I do like. Um, gone to the outside of the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, and now it's back inside. It's kind of struggling here a little bit but also in a leg C. Those told me that things were really improving. It was just a very sudden one day Friday, big move to the upside. That really was a big change. You wouldn't expect in one day that you'd get that. That was very big improvement. Now my other quartet, my cash uh, index, which is Cintas, C-T-A-S, overalls, uniforms, uh, at 268, just uh, three, four points of its all-time high. It's incredible how many stocks have gone to within uh, within pennies of monthly retracements to the highs. In this case, it did sneak a little bit above, but 270 has been hit three times, and then again, uh, it just broke above it, recently at 271, 78. That's important. Um, Amazon so is the A in cash. It's in leg C to the upside. Very nice takeoff from the bottom. Is this the bottom that says this is the big move that's going to go into end of the year? I don't know yet. It's just the start of a move. It's really struggled to do this. This is a big breakout on the daily chart, nothing on the weekly and nothing on the monthly. So up 22 at 17.58. I like that. Um, S is for SPY. The SPY index is still underneath the all-time high, but it is at SP, no, SPY is what I want, SPY, SPY, also leg C like the others. This actually went to an unusual leg G in the in the daily chart. It made that uh, right there around about the 16th and then pulled back very sharply. Uh, it pulled back to the 284 area, 285, and now it's at 299. This is good action, not great yet in the weekly chart, but both the daily and the monthly are really acting well. And Home Depot is the other one, the fourth one in my cash index, CASH. This is at an all time high as you speak at 236.09, up $1.91. And uh, yeah, this is very good action. So these are all saying that 
very sharp pullbacks are going to probably be buying opportunities because enough of a digestive phase has occurred. We haven't broken to new highs in the down the S&P, and that's going to be important to do. Question ahead is, um, what are the rally leading sectors and ETFs you are seeing? Uh, so let me do this. I'm not going to talk about necessarily the, the ones that are at the highs. What I want to talk about are the, are the sectors to me that have been very important. The IAI, the broker dealer, has come back very strongly from going to a new low after making 61 the, the real base of support for months and months. Then it slides to 59.71. Now it's four points, well, nearly four points higher at 63.34. This is the broker dealer e ETF. I like the fact that it's running back because we, when you go to zero, um, zero fees, where are you going to get the money from? Well, it turns out that Schwab has less of the zero category here, and it's up huge today. It's up two at 39.79. I say huge because it's gone back into the gap on the day that it was announced that there were zero percent fees coming, and uh, kaboom. One day you're closing on the 30th of September, uh, 41.83. The very next day you're down at 36.92. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a huge move. And then you go all the way down to the 34 area, 34.58. Now a single leg eight to the upside. I think it's the start. I don't think this is, I don't think that this is the move that's going straight up back to the all time high at 60.22. But I think this is the move that says we are trying now to work it out in the a broker dealer ETF, the whole sector segment, to see. Are there enough leaders in this particular segment that that have the total smorgasbord of people's portfolio that don't necessarily have to worry about, oh, it would be nice to have it, but they don't yet have it, of those fees? And Schwab is telling us that, yes, there are some. But when you get to, in the financials, you get to Goldman Sachs, down 90 cents, it was down over six points earlier on. This is going to struggle because there's another effect that needs to be dealt with. So, uh, um, um, Z in the den, the XLF. I spoke, remember, I was speaking about this the other day. I said, I, uh, I was talking with someone who's uh, really one of the one in the, in the country, one of the great bond traders. He's come, his firm. Um, uh, highly, highly respected and very little known. <laughs> and uh, at the same time, um, I spoke to him. I just, you know, casually said, you know, what, what, what do you, what do you think about what's going with the Fed and things like that? And he said, you know, well, the banks are really stuck because they're not going to be able to do much. So I said, don't you think that the banks? Oh, this is a question. I didn't stay, make a statement. I just asked him a question and said, don't you think that the banks have done almost everything that they could under these circumstances? to uh, deal with all the requirements that the Fed is needing um, for them to be in regulation, not just that, but to, to have superb balance sheets, et cetera. And he said, I've never seen, this is the first time he's seen it quite as good as this. And I said, that's not to say the banks, as always, at all major market tops, aren't going to be doing something wrong. But at this point, it seems to me they've done very nicely. Well, the XLF is trading at 28.22. Our bank stock uh, is up more than 20% from where we entered. I, I think that this is an opportunity for the banks to prove that they are independent of the market they have their own structure and they are working well. XLF is up 53 cents S&P Financial Spider Fund. I like that. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Taz of 250. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. All right, we're back. Dow is up 252. It's kind of bumping into resistance here. S&P is up 32. And we're going to go straight to our first caller. We've got Alan of Sarasota. Alan, how are you? Hey, Basil. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. That's good. So, That's good. Yep. You'd like to look at MAS, MASCO? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, MASCO. That's the one I'm looking at. Okay. So this is uh, MASCO trading at 43.16. Now, just remind me, this is, uh, they're in the building materials area, is that correct? Yeah, they do. They have a lot of flagship brands and uh, like home remodel, and they've got a little new construction. Most of it's home remodel. For, you know, customers like Home Depot and Lowe's, they sell hardware for kitchens and bathrooms, and they have Delta faucets. They sell uh, paint, like the bare paint that you get in Home Depot. Oh, they so sell bare of, paint. Yeah, yeah very yeah. good. Yeah, bare paint is, uh, I keep talking to, I, I've, for decades I've used Sherwin-Williams, but I bought bare paint because Consumer Report gave it a fair, fabulous write-up in one particular uh, two right. sectors of the of the yep. paints, and I actually I used it outdoor for uh, wooden railings, and they the only ones that didn't get all the moss that uh, I have a lot of shade uh, so from the trees, and I loved it. Yep. I thought, and it was yep. and I would say it was at least maybe not a third, but about 25, 28 percent less. In the Sherwood Williams, which is very interesting oh, yeah. to find that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's one of the best out there. Yeah, for sure. So okay, so are you long? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I've been long this for quite a while. It's more of an investment. I mean, I've been I've been long on it from like the mid 30s, mid to high 30s. Um, but in, this in the, uh, out uh, Alan, is that in this um, in this particular phase now? Not not a few years ago, but from this year, you've been in the thirties. Yes. Yes. Right. Very good. Because you know, I sometimes I get a caller and I can tell by the voice that yeah, they've been long and it looks fantastic. And then I found out 
they actually sat through that it went. In this case, it would have gone to the 46s and then down to the 27s. So I, I, I needed just to know that this is the fresh buy for you. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. What I, what I wanted... No, I've been watching it. I've been watching it for a while because it broke out of a big base that it established back in several years ago. So it's a, kind of a long base that it broke out of uh, back in 2000. And, Oh, I don't know. 2015 11 and 12, or it was 16. basing. Yeah, and then at 15, it broke. 14, it broke out. And then it went yeah, above the 200 yeah. period moving average. So, this is what I wanted to say to you. I used to have this all notated. I've just refreshed it. So, I've got the most late, the latest notation. It made a peak D right there in the 45s, 46 area back mm -hmm. in about January of 2018. And then it dropped pretty precipitously to the 26, 26 area. So mm -hmm. now I'm looking at it, and it's in it's in leg C in the daily. If it can make a new recovery high this month, right. excuse me, I just suddenly got the hiccups. Um, but what I really wanted to say is that this is in the area that has benefited the most from the lowest interest rates because it's to do with home construction and everything to do with uh, the building boom. So right. I like it, and I don't really want to even discuss with you any uh, getting out other than to say to you there was a peak d in the daily chart and as many people know in my chapman wave methodology d the fourth highest peak is where other things can happen the peak d in the daily was at uh, 43.59 on the 13th of uh, September, pulled back quite sharply mm -hmm. to 40 and now it's just working its way so what I call the inside by mode of a rectangle formation. And that invariably takes you almost to just on or just above the previous high. And then you got to be a bit careful because it could pull back about a third of the price. So we're in leg, we'll be in leg C. I put a C, but it, that was a bit premature. A C will be made to, in the next day or two if it can get above 43.22 and today's high is 43.19. So we're talking about three, four cents and it starts leg C. But what's really important about this is that that weekly chart has just beautiful solid bars that are holding both the 14 period moving average when it dips under and then the nine mm -hmm. period, the green moving average when it goes above and that treats it as a support line. The 14 is like the trigger point, like the trampoline bounce line. The MACD is good. It's as is as a 78%. I prefer if it was an 80%. Now, this is what I'd like to say to you. First of all, congratulations, because you've not been You've been in the position, and I, I suspect that you've got a fundamental view as well as a technical view, and it's keeping you in the trade because you might not have an upside target, but I think your feeling right now is that this is in a buy mode and, and you just want to ride it to the upside. Would that be correct? Yeah, I mean, long term, you know, anything can happen. But long term, uh, the charts are saying that eventually it's going to get into the 60s. But I yes. mean, I'm looking for it to at least get to the all time high, which was 46 and change. Um, you know, that's going back to 2018, like you said. Um, and I was just wondering, uh, it seems to have a lot of momentum in it, and it's staying above the 9 and the 14. Even when the market got in trouble uh, right. a couple, week or two ago, so, right. I, I, you know, I feel confident it's it should get to that forty six all time high. Yes. Um, but then, you know, I don't know what I would do at that point. So uh, I was just kind of wanting to see your views on that. I, I'm kind of looking for it. I don't know how long it's going to have to rest here. I know there's. You know, a lot of resistance right in this 43 area, but, uh, you know, I would think that it would break through pretty soon if the market behaves. You know what I mean? That's so what I this, is, this is what I'm going to suggest to you. In your mind, pass it into three, into three uh, sections. The one is a core position that you're in. You're not even looking to touch that at this point. There's just no reason. The second right. is in a much larger time frame. You just want to watch it because at any point, we, we never know, but if at any point it breaks under 40 support, 
I'm not saying to get out. I'm saying, let's give me a call. Let's do this again, because that one third would be the part that I'm saying, maybe this is where you want to add to if you could. Or right. we have to look at it and say, you know what? Now the technicals and the market itself is much more vulnerable. Uh, maybe it's not worth taking any any part of a loss on that particular third. That's the middle third. The, now I also would say to you, keep in mind that you could have a trading third. And the trading third says, don't even think of shorting, number one. It says, don't even think right. of just getting out on an emotional level, number two. And the third thing it says, the target that you have of the 46s, 46.53, I think is the number, becomes a magnet as soon as it crosses 41.59 is the peak D. So 41.60, 41.43.60 starts a new category here because it's broken out of the uh, resistance. And that means now you can say to this one third, that's like what I call a trading third, just have like a three point stop, a kind of a loose mental three point stop but don't do anything and let's be in touch as soon as it does that because I think you've got a great plan there. I would, this is not an area that I'd be messing around with. Stay in the position and one third might be become a little bit of a trading position as we break into the 40, 44 area. I hope that helps, okay. Alan. All right. Sounds good. Thank you I very got much it. for calling. Thanks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trade along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. So I had a question. So is now the time to be chasing the market or, 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 or do you jump in? What do you do? Well, I think that there's plenty of, there, there are plenty of situations that are, uh, um, 
separate to the market. If you look at, let's just go to the UTX stock. Um, UTX pulling back a little bit after a nice big gap to the upside, now pulling back. Hit 137.72, now it's at 136.41. So if you look at the rotation into the different sectors, I think that you will find, for instance, let's go to, so UTX is off way, 144 was his all-time high, it's eight points off that. Eight points is not anything to sneeze at. It's a, it's a nice bunch of points to go to an all-time high. So there are plenty of stocks that have been, um, that have really pulled back very sharply and are, I would, they're just coming out on the daily, on the daily uh, level of a pretty big pullback and now going to the upper range. But their weekly charts are still in the middle of a consolidation with a lot of resistance. And the monthly charts are saying, well, we've been here plenty of times before. There's no guarantee that this is the breakout. So this is a, a tough time in terms of risk reward. So I'm going to say that I'm going to be very selective for subscribers because I do want to add to long positions. We've been trying to do that. We did add one very low cap, uh, low price stock the other day. And then it had a little whippy, uh, quite, a, quite a bit of whippiness um, on, what is today, Tuesday? Yeah, on Friday. So I said, we're going to, I don't like to do this. I said, but we, we, we're making the stop wider. Thank goodness we did because it had a tender off. I don't know what the story was. And then it, it went down even lower. Um, and then it came back a little bit yesterday. And I'm, I said, look, we're just going to stay put with this particular position. I liked it. It's in the right area. And bam, today it goes from the low of $3.46 to $3.66. 22 cents from the low intraday. That's a, I mean, it's a huge move on a $3 stock. And that's the only way you can do it. You can be selective here. Now, as far as the indices are concerned, yep, if you didn't get in at the low, the most recent low, now it's going to be harder to get in. But I suspect that there are ways that, that you can do it if you know your risk reward. For, for, for me and my subscribers, I like to keep that risk reward pretty tight. So it's going to be in a very special way that if I'm looking at this and I'm saying, you know what, I think this is the time that we can actually test the all-time highs in, say, the Dow or the S&P, um, maybe not the IWM. But there, there are ways of doing it, and that's that makes it a, a little more difficult, but not impossible to do. Um, if you're looking at something like CRM, which is Salesforce.com, and I was speaking about it yesterday or maybe the day before, for goodness sake, I mean, this has been the most, one of the most spectacular areas, let alone most spectacular stocks, Salesforce.com, CRM, trading up $3.18 at 152.55 today. Nice legs seen the daily, like many of the charts we were looking at. Weekly chart is still way underneath the down channel, even the Chapman Wave down inside track repellent zone. If I did this, I'd have to put that in right here, right here, and we haven't even got there yet. In the weekly chart, you probably have to get to 153, 154 to say you're into the inside track repellent zone, ready to climb out into the 156 area. So there's plenty of time for those. So that's why I'm saying you've got to be selective here. Not everything is moving. And yet there are some areas that are moving that um, have been laggards. And there's some areas that are really not moving as much as they should. So I am saying, now when you go to the SMH, it's all-time high. Uh, this is a real breakout in the semiconductor index at 124.95, up 234. You remember what I was speaking about the other day? I said it's interesting because my, my, my good friend, we're always talking about the um, uh, semis, semiconductors, et cetera. Um, he said, now I'm getting signals to, to get into the market. Uh, and you were getting all different signals all the way because you did technical analysis, I just have to have patience and wait. And it means that you could miss out on a massive move. But he said, now it looks much more interesting to me based on the fact that the billings are starting to improve. That's what I had to wait for. So isn't that interesting? So yes, a nice mix of the two things, maybe fundamentals and uh, technicals, a uh, good compromise. This is now new leg E slash B in the weekly chart. New leg C in the monthly. That's very positive. That that made a big change for me on Friday. So uh, in the Dan BAC Bank of America, what does he say? Bank of America 
30, up 85 cents. Warren Buffett seeks Fed leeway to boost stake in Bank of America uh, past 10 percent. And there it is. It's up 29.97. We are long, uh, been long since the 24 area, um, been long number of times. And last one, I was the last one in December, I think so. So, yeah, it's doing very nicely. It's about to bump into the inside track repellent zone in the 30, 30.43 to 30.70 area. And that means that if it breaks into the 3150, 32 area, it's out of the uh, resistance, monthly resistance. I like what I'm seeing in the banks here. I like it market-wise. I think it's very important. All right, let's get back to the nitty-gritties. Questions coming in. Uh, would I look at Boeing? Sure, I look at Boeing. Here we go, Boeing. Is down 81 cents at 372.41. It's just stuck. Remember, it made a peaky. Now I can put a down arrow here. Um, 391 round number high, pulls back to the 362 ish area, bounces to 376, and now it's trading 372. It's just stuck making an H formation. What was the other one that I had a question about? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Oh, XLP. Sure, that's a good one to look at right here. XLP is the consumer staples, I believe. Yep, S&P, select consumer staples down sharply, made a peak. D. Uh, this is one of the very unusual patterns. I, I, should, I should have a file that says most unusual patterns. Let me write this down while I can. Uh, this is XLP daily, XLP daily. What writing is that? Uh, patterns go then, go then. <laughs> but what's interesting is that it made a, an inside buy mode to a D. But that D was underneath the previous peak E. That's usually a big negative. So it goes to 61.69. But wait a minute. 61.92 was the high of the 5th of September. Let me type that in. 61. Point ninety two, fifty two or ninety two, ninety two, um, and that was on the fifth of September. That's where I got the five from, I guess. Am I right? I think I'm right. All right, and then it has this failure, and now it's dropping again. It's down twenty nine cents to sixty point two five, having made a peak G, an unusual peak G weekly top um, at that level, and that is a leg F slash A in the monthly. Now, I want to show you this chart. Remember, someone had spoken about ages ago, the huge wedge formation in the XLP, in the X, in the SPY. The X, X, the S&P, SPX, or the SPY. Well, this one did it in the monthly, and it's gone to the top of the range. I'll talk about this because I want to see if this is the S&PSPX.X. Oh, I know where I've got. I'll show you in a minute. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Dow's of 251. We'll be right back and we'll talk about these patterns, this expanding wedge formation. Be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is the perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So uh, to go together with what we were looking at just a moment ago, which was the XLP, um, I, I, I Lorna in the den asked about, could I look at, can you look at PG, please, Basil? So I, I looked at this, and you remember I, the other day, was it Friday? I think it was Friday I was looking at it, and I said, hey, this is the first time that I'm getting signals in the XLP. This is the, the consumer, uh, this is really the defensive area that most of the time, uh, marketeers go to when they get a little nervous about the market. And I said, what a dichotomy. We're only just a few percentage of all-time highs. And the defensive sector is just roaring. So now all of a sudden, Brockton Gamble down 2.52%, down 3 at 117.03. Just three weeks ago, it's making an all-time high of 125.36. Let me put that in. One. 125.36, that was 930th, and last, last day of September. And all of a sudden, it's gone from 125 to 117. Sounds like not much, eight points in the space of just such a short space. I I would suggest to you that this is the reason why I was looking at those um, cyclicals, the deep cyclicals, and say they're looking pretty darn good because money might be now saying, hey, we're done with the Procter & Gamble's. Let me see Coca-Cola. Uh, so, so just to answer the question, Laura, if, you were, if I was in this at all, I'd be taking some money off. Don't, I'd have to get right out of it. I mean, so the, the, you know, the monthly chart is still very good. But I don't know whether this is a G slash B in the monthly, but absolutely it's a peak G in the weekly and it's a pd in the daily and it's saying hey just be careful because if this is a g in the weekly and a g then in the monthly you've got a hectic top which says you're going to have quite a few months six months even of weakness in the the health product the, the whole defensive consumer area and that money could be going elsewhere. So I'm just saying at 117, even though it's down sharply in the day, I would take a little bit off if you are long. And that's all. I'm not saying get out of it. I'm just saying take a little bit off. And the next bounce towards 119.80, 120.35, you can make a decision. Do I take more off or is this now going back to an all-time high? And that, that's the way I would deal with it. 
Um, okay, so I finished. Yep, that was good. That was that question. Um, so G Goldman Sachs earnings miss. Yeah, they they. It's an earnings miss, but I I think that the worst is probably over at least for this phase in Goldman Sachs. It doesn't mean to say it's going to be a leader to the upside, but I think that it's. Um, I just have a feeling that Goldman is going to get itself on the right track at some point this year, before the end of the year. So, uh, yep, it's come back very nicely. Oh, now it's up 30 cents. It was down. The 198 was the low. It's, it's eight points above, off the low. That's very nice action. Oh, and the MACD is about to cross positive. Hey, this could help the XLF as well. Good. Transportation index, IYT. I'm just checking to see any message, any questions coming in now. Um, IYT, new leg C, so many of these are in leg C. Now, I prefer to see leg C closer to all-time highs. Um, yep, in the weekly chart, it made a peak C. It's done it a couple of times, and it's failed. So the high shares of the transport Dow Jones Transportation Index needs to clear at 186.73, up 2.54. I like the action very much. I would love by today's only Tuesday. I'd love by Thursday afternoon, Friday morning, not to see it testing 185 support, but to see it testing the resistance in the 187.80 to 188.40 area. If it can get above that, that's a really good action for the transports on a shorter term basis. Longer term, there's nothing happening until it goes to 193. All-time high is 209.44. Okay, now let's go to the TLT. I said I'd do that. TLT, type it in there, into the rectangle. There we go. TLT is the Lehman 20 Treasury Bond Fund. Stuck testing the low, uh, most recent low. It's at 140.02, 139.72 today's low, which I think is just a penny or two lower than yesterday. Let me check. 139.71. Oh, 139.72. It is about to test that. And you can see I drew in the H pattern. And that says that the TNX, we spoke about this yesterday, TNX is running very nicely. And I said I could see a lot of support in the 1630 uh, to 16 area. But if there was a break into the 1775, I can't remember if I said 1775. The high was 1764. Yeah, probably 1775 area, nicely above that low, of, uh, low the high of yesterday. Um, that would be very positive. That just extends this move to the upside as a leg B. I, I kind of like it. I like what I'm seeing again. It's saying that yields should have some kind of a bounce, which is really why Bank of America is up. That's why the XLF is up. Now, the other thing that's really important, oh, let me just mention Bank of America, is just above the inside track repellent zone. That, was, that would mean if it goes back under 29.75, it's at 29.95 right now, uh, that'll say, oh, it's struggling. It should go out, but it's struggling right now. So the TLT is saying money is coming out of bonds, and going into stocks right now. At least that's the way I'm reading it. Next question I had was, I don't remember who asked me the question. Um, oh, 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 oh. Yes, I didn't do that. I'm sorry. So let's just see. Gold is now down 14, down 12 at 1485. It's underneath the rectangle support, which is at 1495. And um, silver is also down, I'm sure. It's down 0.29 at 17.42. Remember I said it, it has a different chart formation. It's being repelled at the 9 period moving average and the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. Not great. It says that it should go down to the 1720s soon. And if you look at the dollar, it's really interesting that they're going in the same direction. The dollar's down only 14 texts. Tested the low three days ago successfully so far. But it's holding okay. I do think it's in a consolidation phase. Look at the EURUSD. This is the euro. EURUSD is trading right now at 1.102, stuck in the range. It needs to break. I'd say I really want to see it up in the 1.112-ish area to say, hey, now the weekly chart is starting to improve. Right now, it's just stuck in the USD JPY, which is the yen, the dollar-yen currency pair, breaking out 
above the 200 period moving average. This is nice. It says it wants to go to 109.52, the 200 period weekly orange uh, 200 period moving average, and it's at 108.84. Now, I also said that today, if I had a chance, I'd look at uh, some stocks that I didn't get a chance to do the other day. So this is what I want. I was asked about dividend stocks. Look at Verizon, stuck in a range towards the higher end of its uh, trading borders, and it's at up 49 is 60.09. Now, as a dividend stock, this is saying, uh, with all the talk, Mr. Chapman, that you were a little nervous about these companies having tremendous uh, pressure. Verizon is holding near the highs. T, telephone, great day today, up 42 cents, 37.90. It's trying to retest that uh, resistance level uh, at 40. Uh, I'm sorry, at 39. Did I say that wrong? No, 38. I'll be right back. That was a chap. Opportunity for I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. So the question I had is, when will the Fed, what was the question? This is what I asked my, this, my, my friend, the Bond, uh, bond guy. Uh, when, what, what, will, what will the Fed do? When will the Fed lose ability to flood market with uh, liquidity? Let's see if the question. And bolster the stock market, stock markets, volatility, um, are fixed by central banks. So I, we both came to the conclusion that it's going to be really tough for the Fed when they have to, whatever it is that they have to do to reverse course, and that the market will most probably make a statement before then, and then the Fed will do the fixing. So that's kind of, there's no real answer. Twitter, I was asked about, I don't want you to know about Twitter, um, up, up 26 cents at 40.04. You know, 
risk reward if you're just interested in in see if you can get a starter in a position that was that did very well ran all the way to the 45 area pull back uh, to the 39s now it's trading at 40. you could nibble here i don't really see anything yet either in the daily or the weekly but yeah, if you think there's a positive, this is exactly risk reward, 40.04. I wouldn't give it more than an 80 cents stop. I'd probably make it even smaller. Why? Because it just by tomorrow, it has to be at 40.05. It has to be at 40.55 40 40 tomorrow to really show me that it's got strength. Then it's got a little wound up, a kind of a, a, a little spring loaded section here. It says, boom, if it breaks out, then it'll be positive. So, um, yeah, uh, you could nibble right here. I, I don't see too much, but I will see it if it breaks out and can get to 41. I'd say, hey, that's nice action. So you could start a position, make a fairly tight stuff. Then a couple of questions we don't have time for. I'll just do XLU. XLU is, missed it. Hit it in the right place. Let's go right here. XLU is the bond. This is the S&P utilities uh, pulling pulling back here. Made a peak D. Also the G in the weekly. Just be careful. I think bonds are in for a little bit of a dip. I think the, uh, the yields are going to rally some. Uh, so that's what I'm looking at. A couple of other. You know what? I'll get to a bunch of other questions that I couldn't get to today. I'll get to them tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'll tell you what to look for today as we wrap up. And we're going to go to Steve Rose and then Dave Wyden and Tom O'Brien. The, the Dow needs to close towards the 27,090 level. The closer you can get to 27,090, the better it is because it's broken out of resistance level. If it pulls back and only closes up, uh, if it closes under 20, 27,000, it says it needs a